Farmers in our region say they are concerned about their industry's future. They say many family-owned operations don't have succession plans in place. Scott Miller reports. Huron County is the most agriculturally productive county in all of Ontario. Its 2,564 farms have capital assets worth more than $12 billion. That's more than some countries. Huron County has a lot of wealth in the family's investments in the various businesses we have. And to have that successfully transferred and transitioned to the next generation is so important. But a recent survey conducted by Huron County found that only 14% or 358 of those 2,500 farms have a farm transition plan to transfer the farm and its valuable land to the next generation of primary food producers. That's over $10 billion in unprotected assets, which is why Elaine Fraze, Canada's farm whisperer and farm family coach, is in Godrich today to talk tough about the uncomfortable but necessary conversations more farmers have to have. And there may be hard conversations, but we come from the approach that you want to get clarity of ex expectations and not make assumptions. You want to put timelines in place because we all know that procrastination is killing agriculture. And this is no longer the passing on of Grandpa's 50-acre hobby farm. We're talking about generational wealth, thousands of acres and millions of dollars. And that is what the bull in the middle of the room is because farmland in Ontario can be anywhere from 10,000 to 23,000. And in grape region, where I spoke to the grape growers, $120,000 an acre post-COVID. So the assets are expensive. Warden Glenn McNeil has made his own farm transition plan with his family for his dairy operation near Godrich. He says it wasn't easy at times, but it was necessary. And now everyone in his family can sleep a little easier at night. Everyone knows what's going to happen when I die, and that's the way we want it. It won't be an event, it'll be an evolution. And everyone will feel like they've lost 50 pounds because there will be a lot less stress and anxiety about not knowing what the future looks like for everybody. In Godrich, Scott Miller, CTV News. Farmers in 